All right, so here's my mulching job I'm doing. It's uh, just about finished for the day. Glad it's only about 97 and not 102 today, but I'm going to follow some more permaculture practices. I've got, you know, it done up here and some up there by the front of the house. I did all the way around the perimeter of the house up here. Now I'm going to do my citrus, uh, my fruit tree area here where I'm going to have eventually more trees and more, more garden area. Got to go ahead and uh, start adding some organics to it. So that's why I went out and started getting this mulch. And I'll go ahead and give you an update inside the greenhouse and show you the garden as well. I'm just uh, still just running the top bed here. Um, cucumbers aren't as green as I'd like them to be, but you know, getting tomatoes, these are the cherries. And these ones are struggling a little bit. I'm getting the peppers here. Um, more tomatoes are coming. Getting lots of melon here. These are the sugar baby watermelons. Those are just about ready here. Yeah, you hear that? Donkey. Um, here's another watermelon. Got a few of them going. They look good. Get around uh, over here where I had my tables before. I went ahead and just started some more cucumbers. These are the sumpters for pickling. They're doing well and these are the market more. This little patch of there, just wanted to make use of the, the area while I was in here. And I do a little flush out in there once in a while from my system. Here's, here's the view from the other side. Got more melons coming in. They're doing well. You know, but still the leaves aren't, aren't as big, as full as the other ones. I'll take you over and show you in my other bed. And, um, we'll taste the fruit. We'll see what the fruit tastes like and do a difference. And that's the aquaponics so far. I did get this wall here fixed finally. Got that stupid outdoor wrap uh, off and put some proper uh, plastic up, so. That was another chore. And so over in this corner, I did a little, uh, I have a little banana going and a, some more cucumbers. This is just doing organic uh, soils and all that other amendments in this particular bed only. And that's a gourd. And a chard. Another little uh, cucumber coming around. Some basil that's uh, went ahead and uh, bolted, but. There's a leaf difference. I see these ones have the spots, but uh, you can just see the difference in the size of the leaf already in this sugar baby watermelon. So There's definitely a nutrient uh, difference in the soil. This is a uh, uh, citronella geranium. These are those uh, turmeric finally came up beginning of the summer. And I've got more peppers. This is my bay leaf. This is, these are some more bushes and trees that I'm going to eventually put out in my uh, in that area. I'm, I'm mulching, probably going to wait till the fall to go ahead and plant those in. This is another bed I went ahead and I did the trench uh, composting in this. Um, I, I just I took it all out. The plants were small enough where I can just set them aside. I dug it all out, you know, put the compost in there, put some cardboard. Then amended the topsoil on it really well. And I did go out and purchase some products and, and for that, I purchased uh, a few bags of this, this organics alive. So it wasn't cheap, but it was it was worth it because I wanted to get some food production over here. So it did. This this thing just shot up like six feet tall. And we'll see what happens. I just started. And uh, my peppers over here are just doing great. Lots and lots of peppers. I'm gonna go ahead and get some of those today and uh, get some of my tomatoes that are in my front garden. This here's my loofah. It's doing well. Corn, uh, zucchini, 
have beans and stuff going in the bottom of the corn, tomato and a pumpkin. Those are my tomatoes. The other ones I getting pretty good production on, except for the heat's going to kind of take a toll on them right now. So, most of those are getting ready to get picked off. And this is my sweet potato little pile here. I've started this off at ground level. Just been adding a board and then just uh, throwing compost in it and add another board and fold the vines over into it. We'll see how that works out. Another tip I got from, you know, just watching you guys. I'm going to try to turn this whole area here, take the fence down and turn it into more of a, a polyculture, using more permaculture techniques here. That's why I have all the mulch all the way around here, all the way up front. And I'm just learning as I go along here. Um, I did get some grapes. Unfortunately, most of them got eaten by the, the rodents when I wasn't around here to, to keep it up. So I put some shiny, flashy things on there and was able to keep the uh, population down a little bit. So I'm going to use that technique more next year. Probably get more yield just from lack of, uh, you know, the population eating them. So, anyways. Planning to be one of these barrage plants here too. Watching the other videos, man, they sure look good, but I just can't seem to get them green and lush and tall like I've seen them in the other videos. So, all that's to do with my soil. I'll keep working. These are my golden berries. They're doing really, really good. Taking really good care of them, actually. So, getting to have a lot of fruit on these. These are the Peruvian golden berries. Doing real well. Oh, look at there. They're doing well, too. The chickens, loving the forage area. Came in pretty nice. So they're scratching it up, eating, crapping. 